Man, why did they always end the same? Hey, namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. As always, welcome back means we're on another adventure. Another adventure means that you're going to want to know where we are and what we're doing. And I can definitely tell you that information. I'm going to start off with telling you where we are. We are in Chippewa Lake, Ohio, and that's in Medina County. Um, I guess you could say it's in Northeast Ohio. It's in Northeast Ohio still, I think. Um, it's almost kind of close to Lodi, Ohio. Um, what are we going to do today? We haven't done this for a little bit. Um, today it's kind of a nice day outside. We're going to be doing a little bit of Urbex adventure. What kind of Urbex adventure? We're going to see what we can find, what's left. And I wish I would have done this video a long time ago because I used to be up in this area years and years ago when there was more here. But we are going to walk around, hopefully, and see what's left of an old amusement park. So if you're ready for today's adventure, get off the couch, get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Got it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay. For watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh shit! That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malange. All right, you're back. Now, I told you we're in Chippewa Lake, Ohio. I told you we're gonna walk and see if we can find uh, what's left of an old abandoned amusement park. Now, the amusement park we're talking about is Chippewa Lake Park. And if you see behind me, that's the old grounds, that's the old park that was back there. In front of me, this was the old, uh, well, this was a house at one time, but this was a museum, Chippewa Lake Museum. This is not open anymore. Uh, I wish it was, but just look at the, uh, look at the building itself. It still looks like one of those old style, uh, old style amusement park rides, you know, just the colors, the red and the white and such. Um, but check this out. Before we even get started with the video, um, check some of these old rides that they have sitting out here. Look at that. It's an old car. I want to say this would have been, this would have been off like a mouse type uh, roller coaster ride. Because you could tell by the, you could tell by the small tracks right there. It's a thin track. But look at the car. And it's been sitting out here all this time. We're going to talk a little bit more, more about the park here shortly. But uh, look at this. Wow. All rotted inside. That sun's playing the havoc. Sun's playing havoc. Look at that. Man, check that car out. I like how they have this, though. They have the the wood they have the track 
You hear the peep frogs? I hope that's coming up. Yeah, I hear peep trot, peep frogs everywhere. It is pretty, uh, it is pretty wet back here. Ah, check out the hawks flying around. Um, oh, I thought that was an eagle at first. I thought I seen white. Yeah, look at all those hawks up there. Wow. Now this, check this out. Now, I know these, I know these cars, I, I know the ride is the turtle. Um, here, I think they call this the tumble bug. Um, but for, for me, I, I know these rides is the turtle, but check this out, it's still here. You can still see the old color on there. I don't know if these would have had a face. It looks like it would have. Yeah, this must have like kind of like symbolized a bug face, two eyes. It looked like there was probably lights at one time um, in there. I'm watching where I'm stepping because it is super wet over here. But yeah, you would have got in. You would have got in here. And then these would have been cushions. Um, you would have been able to sit down in there in the track. The, the, the track kind of went, went like this. Who knows? Maybe there's some remnants of that when we go walking. But yeah, check this out. I wish the museum was still open. But uh, it is not. Look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Yeah. Chippewa Lake Museum. And then over here... I don't know what this would have been. Um, obviously some kind of gear system, maybe for a roller coaster at one time, perhaps. Huh, I don't know. But uh, let's talk a little bit about Chippewa Lake Park. Chippewa Lake Park was open from 1878 till 1978. 1878 to 1978, that's 100 years. This park was open for a hundred years. Now, there was three, maybe four, I'll say four. There was four, there was like four time periods of this park, uh, more or less. And I'm going to say the fourth, the fourth time period is like in its present state, is what I would say. But we'll talk about the third, but when you come in here... It looks like they redid all this stuff. I, I, I've actually, I've actually never been to this park, ever in my lifetime. I've, I've, I, I first found out about this park. I used to deliver out this way years ago, and we're talking. I had to be 22 or 23 years old when I first learned about this park. Um, I was delivering to a store, and in, and I can't tell you what store it was, but in the back of this convenience store, he had like a display case, and I seen a book about Chippewa Lake Park. And then he had some like artifacts. He had like some different toys and like different flyers and stuff about the park. And then I started reading about it. I was like, wow, but I have never been here. Like I said, I wish I would have done this video a long time ago. I would have, there was more stuff standing in the park, okay? But I think, I think that whole area that's wooded right there, I think all that would have been parking. This would have been the entrance road to the park. They did get rid of a sign. There used to be a sign. Uh, uh, it was just, now it was just a skeleton of the sign, but that would have been like the main entrance sign that said Chippewa Lake Park. Now, we're gonna see if we can get in here and walk a little bit. Um, yeah, we're not gonna get through there. And I guess we'd go through the fence if we wanted to there, but Seems like there's a uh, easier way over here, but look at that right off the bat. Um, <laughs> we got some, looks like those would have been the ticket, the ticket booths over there when you first entered the park. Like I said, this would have been the, this would have been the parking area over here. And uh, this would have been the ticket booths. Now, the first time period of this park, like I said, there was four. And the fourth is, we're going to talk about the fourth being at its present time. Um, let's see. Where do we want to go in at? Is it over here? 
let's go uh, yeah there we go there's a spot there's a spot right here now oh barbed wire barbed wire oh yeah okay now the first time period would have been 1878 to uh 1898 and there was a man by the name of edward andrews who had this property and what his what his uh whole goal was it was more it was more of a picnic area um and a beach area uh you know for families and such um and it was called andrew's pleasure ground and that that was not a bookstore on i-71 what that again that what that was was a picnic area and a um uh beach area because if you go back if you go back if you follow this and you go back there there is a there is a lake back there okay and that uh it's not a man-made lake it's a it's a it's a regular it's a lake it's a natural lake um but you would have you would have came in here i don't know what it looked like way back then but you would have come in here and the lake would have been back there but that was like i said that was the first time period and that was that was uh 1878 to 1898 and that was edward andrews um and he 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 had some success he had successful times with that he, he was pretty successful and then it kind of declined a little bit and then what he did is he added a steamboat now obviously that steamboat would have would have uh had rides around around the lake and whatnot and then he added a roller coaster type ride now that notice i said roller coaster type ride not sure what the name of it was but it was the first ride to be here and what i'm told is the roller coaster actually had to be manually pushed back up the track after each ride so um that's kind that's kind of interesting in itself but that was that was pretty much the first uh that was pretty much the first um time period of of uh the lake but let's go let's go this this would have been this would have been the uh this would have been the ticket booth i'd imagine right here look at that wow yeah good thing it ain't summer there's no wasps nests and stuff hanging around i gotta watch for nails and whatnot looks like an old well that's an old box yeah these would have been the old ticket booths old ticket booths Nate, you can see they still have the steel the steel bars uh the gates that you would walk through and stuff now again i've not been at this park so i don't know what's what but look over here oh <laughs> let's go down here and see what's what i see a car over there upside down wow so we talked we talked about the first we talked about the first kind of era of the park time period let's talk about the second time period of the park that would have been that would have been 1798 to 1969 a man by the name of mac beach bought the property and he he revamped it a little bit and he changed it up a little bit he actually stopped uh liquor sales we're gonna get to that in a minute i see some skeleton remains over there wow he uh mac beach he um he took over the property he stopped liquor sales and whatnot um he had a son parker parker beach now parker beach ran the park in its in its prime years okay um that the well-to-do years and what he did is um during during those prime years he in 19 
1925, I believe it, in 1925, he brought in the first wooden uh, modern roller coaster, and that was designed by Fred Pierce, I believe. It wasn't a big roller coaster. It was I think it was 50 foot high. It was called the Big Dipper, but everybody known it as just the coaster. Um, but check this out. Check this out. There's the car just sitting here. Um, yeah, just sitting here. <laughs> just, uh, I, you know, whatever. Maybe they had derbies back here or whatnot. I don't know. Look at that. Just the car sitting here. Galaxy 500. Is that really what that was? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And now uh, we got another Urbex, uh, Urbex Adventure back there. Uh-huh. Told you she follows me everywhere. But uh, up there looks... Uh, I think... I think that was probably the ballroom back there. Let's let's go up and give a closer look. Wow. But yeah. Uh, man, that it wow. Yeah, we're gonna go up there and get a closer look at that. Check this out. Wow. Now, that roller coaster I was telling you about. That actually lasted the the, the remainder years, uh, the remainder years of the park. Uh, 1978 is when that lasted till. Um, so that's kind of neat. And during during those years, that's when most of the rides were brought in during those prime years. That you have a column right there. There's an old fixture. Look at that old old push button. Old push button. Wow. Um, there, that's knocked over right there. Wow. But yeah, I, I, you know, the carousel was here. The, the Ferris wheel was here. You know, probably the fun house. Uh, I, I think it had three roller coasters by the time, you know, uh, the park closed down. I, I believe there was three. But yeah, those prime years are probably fun. But I'm... I'm thinking this, I'm thinking this is the ballroom. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Yeah, this would have been the ballroom. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Wow. Look at the heat from this ballroom. I'll talk a more about more because I know some of the dates when things happened here. Um, but yeah, this is just all twisted. This is all twisted from the heat. All twisted from the heat. Look at that. Yeah, I want it. This is pretty big. I think this was the ballroom. Look at that, man. All that, it's burnt. Old stove over there. Whew. Wow. How crazy is this, guys? Jeez. Wow. Yeah, there looks like windows that were down in there, you know, all along there. You can see all the foundation lines wow how amazing how amazing jeez all that twisted metal wow jeez i think our best i think our best thing to do is backtrack um and get into the clear Oh, there is something over there. I guess we could check out the rubble. Yeah, I guess we could go this way. Unless this is a continuation of the building, because I know there was... 
you know, this was all burnt down. These, these, uh, I want to say in 2002, if that's the ballroom, it was burnt down in 2002. And then by 2008, um, man, I see those hawks. By 2008, a lot of other buildings were burnt down. There was a hotel here. Uh, yeah, hearing people yelling. There was a hotel here. Um, you know, just some of the all other small buildings. Oh, I guess we go up this way. Wow. A little fire hydrant right there. Oh, vultures. Oh. <laughs> that was that was scary. Whoa. Wow. Here we are again. Here we are again. Yeah, see. This this had to be the ballroom. Many a dancing, many a dancing and good nights at the ballroom. You know who played at this ballroom? Like I say, I'm guessing this is a ballroom. Lawrence Welk. What do we know about Lawrence Welk? Champagne music. That's what we know about Lawrence Welk. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that's the ballroom. Yeah, cause we're on, oh, the Cardinal. Cardinal flying through, sweet. But, uh, yeah this would be the ballroom because we're on a the ballroom was like on a hill so this would be a hill going down that's kind of cool here's some more twisted metal over here i'm just having fun looking around and talking see here would have been another building i don't know what this would have been um again if you if you know the park because i don't if you know the park uh write in some comments if you know what it was if that was the ballroom definitely let me know. Um, yeah, I see some other buildings over there. There's all kind of stuff. There's a telephone pole, so electric was going through. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know what this would have been right here, but obviously you could tell that it was burnt down. Yeah, look how twisted the metal gets. Man, wow. Look, those, yeah, I thought those were hawks, everybody. Those are vultures, man. <laughs> oh, dude dude let me just go over here i don't see no path but uh what is this back here oh i'm not this would have been a okay this was another small building of some sort i don't know what this would have been Some brick over there, but uh, I say let's go back on the main. Yeah, we'll go back on the main trail and uh, see what we can see. Watch out if you're always when you're uh, adventuring urbex, you know, watch out for poles sticking up. Yeah, I think I don't know if we can go this way or not. Let's let's take. What's that? Oh, right over here? Yeah. Did we walk that way? No. Or is that another pathway? Maybe another pathway. Oh, I think maybe this is another pathway. Or maybe it just... No, it just goes... Okay, it just goes here. Obviously, there's something that was here at one time. But yeah, a little, another little foundation over there. See, that looks like a pathway over here, but I don't know if we should. I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know the layout of the park. So I, I think, let's go back and get on the main. And uh, we'll talk about, we'll talk about the third, we'll talk about the third time period of the park which would have been from what? 1969 to 1978, and there's that 1978 again. We said what, 1878 it opened to 1978? 100 years, that would have been the centennial year of this park. Yeah, we can, we can go right through here. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know if Parker 
was just old. He was getting old. He was getting tired. Um, maybe the maybe the money wasn't all there. You all right. Yep. Maybe the money wasn't all there. Man, that was awesome. Yeah, maybe the money wasn't all there. Check this uh, out. There's a another fire hydrant with a uh, bread rack right there. There's the other part of that. Wow. So, yeah, I don't know if he was tired, if the money wasn't there. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I will tell you that there was, there was other, I see something real cool here in a minute, but let's walk down here. Um, there was other competition going on around that time. Figure 1969. There was Cedar Point in Sandusky. There was Geauga Lake in Aurora, which if Geauga Lake was open, I believe SeaWorld would have been across the lake. Now don't get me started on SeaWorld. We'll just say SeaWorld sucks. And if you don't know why, just uh, first of all, watch Blackfish. And then the just cove. investigate the cove. That's another one. And you'll find out where exactly these ocean creatures come from. Again, I don't even want to talk about that. I'm trying to be positive. We're doing some urbex exploring. But um, yeah, there's the lake. I don't know if you can see it back there. But that that's Chippewa Lake back there. And that's, that's a natural lake there. But in 1969, Continental Business Enterprises, they took over the park now that just sounds like a that just sounds like a bad oh i thought that was a mobile home well it is back there kind of creepy we'll go over that way but let's uh let's check this out real quick check this out i see a track and i guess we can get in this way but yeah um continental uh business enterprises took over this park what they wanted to do is they wanted to make this into a more resort style park um which i guess in one sense kind of makes sense i mean if you're talking about cedar point and geauga lake you know i guess but the people didn't want that big thumbs down from the townspeople they wanted their they wanted their park to stay the same um now they did however check this out how how freaking cool is this how freaking cool is this? Oh, this is... This... I know this ride is the turtle. This would be the tumble bug. This would be the track for the tumble bug. This is freaking awesome. Let me, let me finish my story about uh, the big business buying this property. Um... They wanted to make it resort. People didn't want that. Um, and I could see what they were going for with the other competition and all that. But 1978, think about it. I, I told you this before, 100 years. I hear Mindy saying, oh God. <laughs> let's, let's go walk out and see something real quick. I want to get back to this, but there's there is the Ferris. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got to get this on film. <laughs> Look, up there. That's the Ferris wheel. We're going to walk over there, but check this out. How creepy the freak is this? Look on the Ferris wheel. It's filled with vultures. Look. <laughs> There's a bunch of vultures on it. Oh my God. Wow. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. I love vultures, man. I love vultures. Save the California condor, by the way. That's my favorite of them all. Check that out. I hope you can, I hope it's coming through, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys want to go over there right now? And then we'll come back to this track. I don't want to miss that. Wow. 
but yeah anyway 100 years um when they when they shut down they did it secretly they didn't tell anybody they weren't there was nothing in the papers no townspeople knew there was nobody to kind of voice their opinion on that they just shut down and they never reopened and that's just that sounds just sad right that sounds sad we're gonna get back to that we're gonna get back to that but i'm telling you i dude dude check the vultures out look they're all freaking up there <laughs> but since i'm here this is the ferris wheel this is this is one of the this is one of the pieces that people come to see right here i think actually whatever show it was whatever show it was they fixed bad tattoos it was a tv show somebody had a tattoo of this it was a girl that had a tattoo of this ferris wheel on their arm Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. How creepy is that? <laughs> but yeah, the park never reopened. The park never, man, hi guys. The park never reopened, so it was a sad, just think of all the people waiting. All the people waiting for the park to reopen, and it never did. Look at that, you can still see the gears. See the gears in here. Now there's no seats on here at all. Those vultures are wild, man. Wow. I love vultures. There's one in the tree over there. Yeah, look at the all the old gearing. Now there used to be a tree. Um maybe it fell over there used to be a there used to be a tree growing up right through the middle and they cut it down i know they they ended up clearing a lot of this out ravens. are they ravens they're not vultures they're ravens oh, okay ravens then wait ain't ravens a type of vulture well, hmm they're awesome they're freaking awesome. Amazing. They are amazing. Um, there's another there's another car over here, a truck. We're gonna go back over to that. We're gonna go back over to that truck. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a Looks like a work truck, a little step side. Two of them. Wow. How cool is that? Just just sitting here. Just the it's it was I told you. It was just abandoned. They left it. They didn't open one year. But let's go back over here and check this track out. Uh the tumble bug. Again, I know it as I know it as the turtle. Okay? I know this is the turtle. Um But yeah, check this out. I wonder if I can get in over here. Man, look at that. Just in the middle. Oh, man, dude. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. Wow. 
I want to go in the middle and show you something. I'm waiting for this fence to... Here, we can get in over here. This, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. See what I told you, the track, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up over there. You know, it just keeps going. Now this middle piece right here would have probably been where the motor is. It's in the center and there would have been arms coming out and attaching to cars. I don't know how many cars would have been here, six or seven, how many, you know, whatever. And uh, it, would have, it would have spun the ride around. This is crazy. This is insane. Yeah, I'll walk around the whole perimeter for you. Wow. Now there's a couple movies, not movies, but there's a couple videos that this has been um, featured in. Um, like I said, the ballroom was burnt down in 2002 and in 2008, every, you know, uh, uh, most of the other buildings been burnt down as well. Now I know that they did, I know that they did do some clearing in here. Um, and they cleared out a lot. That's when they cut that tree that was going down into the Ferris wheel. They cut that down. But, um, yeah, I, I was mentioning two, uh, two other, uh, movies or videos in 2007 there's a documentary it's called uh, welcome back riders okay and it talks about some of the old smaller uh not here anymore amusement parks uh that's one you can check out and then there, uh, you, you know you have to have a horror film right this is just amazing i'm just looking at this thing man it's still here the track is still here but there's a horror movie. It was filmed in 2008, and I believe it came out in 2010. Uh, it was called Closed for the Season, and some of the some of the uh, scenes in there, background scenes, were from this. Now, keep in mind, 2008, 2010, there was other things still standing uh, in this park. Um, the first roller coaster. Um, I told you it was taken down in 2010. They dismantled it and took it down and just knocked it down. Whatever they did to it. Um, so that might that was probably still standing. So some of the creepy background scenes were filmed. That's awesome. Some of the creepy background scenes were filmed uh, in this park. So there's two videos that you want to uh, check out. That's cool. And then another one uh, in 2017... Uh, I mentioned there was a steamboat that was called the Tom Sawyer. And it was it was sitting here for quite a while. Man, look at that. And there was a man, Jason Carver. Man, that's awesome. He was from Tennessee. Uh, Center Hill Lake. Center Hill Lake, Tennessee. That's where they took the Tom Sawyer to. They transported it down to Tennessee, and he was to uh, restore it. Now, there was a website. He said that... Um, he was going to post, I, I didn't check on it, but he said he was going to post pictures as the process begins. And that was, you know, uh, that was quite some time ago. Um, I, I actually didn't check, well, I guess not too long ago, 2017. I'm going to have to look because I did not check it. But check this out. I want to show you something. Look at that. This is nature taking over, man. Look at that. The track is right in a tree track is right in a tree this is probably yep this is where they would have came in because there's the there would have been a ramp right here here's the here's the rail for you to hold on to and you would have walked up this ramp the car probably would have been on top of that hill or whatever and uh you would have gotten to the tumble bug car now there is something cool over here now there's another there's another track over you know what this right here this looks like the track that was at the museum in the front. This looks like this would have probably been the mouse, part of the mouse um, ride right here. I think this would have been part of the mouse ride. 
yeah now i did see something else that was cool over here that you're gonna like but <laughs> this is that's awesome that this is this is what urbix is about is this kind of stuff right here this is great some more uh foundation pillars or whatnot i'm looking for some other stuff because i think there is there might be one or two more things standing not much though but look at this here's here's cars here's some tumble bug cars that they took off the track they used to be on the track from what i'm told or from what i've seen um they used to be on the track and they took them off they took the cars off because i think they sold some of the parts to the ride the tumble bug ride or turtle ride whichever it was at conneaut lake park in pennsylvania so they uh, sold some of the parts to repair those rides so that's why these came off the track but look at here here's some of the tumble bug cars man look at that now i am going to tell you a little story now you can't have an urbix adventure without a penis so we found our first penis look at that look at these cars man wow this is great this is great just look nature taking over man nature taking over wow this is cool so yeah right now i mean i told you everything about the the, the uh uh first era the second era the third era and we're walking through the fourth right now now little i'm not even going to say fun fact but a little fact about this i mentioned that documentary welcome back riders um there's awesome uh parker beach when this park closed he told his family he wanted to be buried in this park. This is where he wanted to be buried. Now, there was no permission. There was no papers signed or anything. They're back on a Ferris wheel over there. Um, but in that documentary, they note that there is one grave in this park. And that would be Parker Beach. Um, it also says is if if you go looking for his grave show some respect there's a bird nest up there right there show some respect and let him enjoy his park in peace it is by the roller coaster now i didn't search that either to see if that's true or not if it's you know i think it is i believe it's true but i didn't research that any further um I mean, if that's something you want to do, that's fine. I, I, Again, I don't know the layout of how this park used to be. Uh, there was three roller coaster. Which one he was he talking about? I'm assuming he was probably talking about the first one, uh, which would have been that, you know, the coaster or the Big Dipper. Um, yeah, look, all, all those remnants of things. Man. Let's walk a little bit uh, further down because this, I know if we go the other way, I don't think there's too much. I mean, you might find some, a little bit of foundation or whatever. Um, go past these trucks again. But yeah, there's the, there's the cars over there. Here's the company trucks that are over here. Let's walk. Do we want to walk down this way? Let's walk down, it's either that way or this way. Let's walk down this way a little bit. But yeah, definitely check uh, check out those videos that I told you about. And uh, there's still talks about opening this up, okay? Um, I think this was privately owned at one time. And I think Medina owns it now and there was talks about opening this up as a park um leaving some of the remnants up you know probably safe you know safer than what they are now um watch up there wow 
Yeah, I don't know if there's anything down this way. Ah, here we go. I don't think there's going to, I don't think we're going to find much in that area. Okay. This is what I was looking for right here. Um, and then we'll walk over and I think I'm probably going to end my video by the Ferris wheel. Okay. And, uh, but I'll, I'll do an end cap here or, you know, but look, this would have been the flying cages. And I don't know if you know what the flying cages are. They're the cages you stand in. And there would have been, I believe, four of them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there would have been four of them. And you stand in the cage and you kind of rock back and forth and you, you go over. It's like a big swing kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, check this out. The flying cages. So the cages aren't here anymore. But the queue line is. We got the queue line. Yeah, here would have been the... Uh, here would have been the weights. Yeah, see? Here they are right here. There would have been the weights on there. Uh, and it would have moved the cages. And again, one, two, three, four. There would have been four of them. Wow. That's cool. See, after this, after I do this video, I go around and I take pictures for myself. Of course, I definitely got to get a new uh, new camera. Definitely got to get a new camera. But um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna see much. Let's see if we can go down. Uh, maybe by the lake. But again, um, I, I don't even know if you're allowed back here. I didn't see no trespassing signs. I know back before people were getting in trouble for coming back here but it was privately owned um i know they did tours back through this area at one time also um yeah i think we can get down by the lake right here this looks like it may have been may have been maybe a building or dock area over here see a couple hot water tanks wow yeah, it was, some, it was something back here because there's a gate back here uh, that, yeah, was that buildings or was that, don't, don't, yeah, look, they're buildings. See, somebody, it says somebody drove 300 miles to write that. <laughs> Wow. Jeez. I think somebody's out there on the lake fishing. Oh, there's the, uh, I don't even know if we can go out on it. That's, I don't know if that's private or through here, but there's a dock out there. No, that. Oh, it is. I thought that was a fence. I did too. A Look at this. This was actually a train track uh, that went around the lake. So they had a train come through here. How man? Look how close to the water it got. How cool is that? Let's try to be careful with. And here is Chippewa Lake. Man, what a nice day what a nice day now what i was going to tell you there's i'm not going to walk any further because i know what rides were left here and i showed you them um if you do come here i mean i guess come at your own risk you know um that museum's closed but they still have the cars outside um i see a lot of people walk back here so i <laughs> you know I, I i don't know i don't know but we'll find out when we get back to the truck um You can come here in the summertime and it's probably i don't know what's more creepier you come here in the summertime everything has leaves on it okay so it which probably looks creepy because that just imagine that ferris wheel covered in green just you know you could barely see it or whatever but right now there's no leaves you can kind of see through and you can kind of find what you're you're wanting to walk to so i think 
you know it's it's kind of better now um so yeah i i chose this time of year to come and there's more of those there's more of those birds over there in the tree now i don't know if i want to take my drone up i brought <laughs> i brought my drone um i don't know if they would go after it i'm not sure if they would or not but we're gonna walk back we're gonna walk back to the ferris wheel area i'm gonna end my video and i'm gonna probably walk and uh get more get more of uh you know personal pictures what kind of bottles that uh we don't want no newer bottles but yeah like i said there's nothing nothing really back that area uh ride wise i know that there was the tumble bug ride the ferris wheel and that's one of the main reasons people come to visit this is is the ferris wheel and then the flying cages but yeah real real easy to get to back here i could see you could kind of get lost like just imagine if if the leaves were here you wouldn't be able to see that ferris wheel so uh, that looks like a little old box over there this this was amazing right this right here looks like this might have been uh entrance yeah look this would have been the entrance probably to uh the boat maybe was this where the tom sawyer was it could have been maybe the, you got off the boat got off your boat ride and come back in here and i think it was because i think the ferris wheel was pretty close to the docks which i think that the dock was around here somewhere right so yeah but look at that queue this this is this is this is crazy right here <laughs> that's awesome that is awesome as heck so yeah a little bit of a uh, little bit of history uh about chippewa lake park and uh i'll tell you at the beginning my intro you know why do they all always end the same way these old smaller parks you know conneaut lake park chippewa uh lake park idora park you know they were all those smaller parks i now idora caught on fire but i don't think they had the money to rebuild everything plus the competition again so it it didn't reopen uh this one you know same thing they just didn't open conneaut lake park i i heard that they were going to reopen that again though um but it closed down i was there Ugh, I don't know four or five years ago right before it closed and like it was just desolate I liked it because I like those kind of parks and stuff like that but they all end the same way it's sad these little these little amusement parks because again I don't have memories of this one I have I have memories of Idora Park and Conneaut Lake Park never this one I wish I would have been able to see this um I don't ever remember being here. Maybe I was brought here at one time. I don't know, but that was, you know, I was born in 71, so I I would I doubt if I would remember if I was or not. Man, this is this is great. But yeah, um that was our Urbix adventure for today. I thought it was pretty cool. I always wanted to see this place. Man. Now there is I got to I got to get a shout out to near and far explorers that's another youtube channel go check it out um because i've again i've always wanted to come here he came here last week i believe it was and uh he kind of brought the idea back again i was like man i gotta go in there i asked him if it, it you know if anybody gave him trouble or not he said no so i was like i think that's where i'm gonna go so and he does a lot of uh i don't know if it's just him or him and his wife but I know he does a lot of, he must be out from this area. Um, he does, he does a lot, he does a lot of videos like I do. He gets different stores, he does everything, a little bit of everything. But uh, yeah, shout out, shout out to that channel. Um, man, there's that Ferris wheel again. So yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming on today's adventure. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, share the channel. Um, I appreciate it. I do appreciate 
you know everybody that watches and comments and everything and, and supports the channel so I, I mean that I really do um, and until I see you on the next adventure that's awesome wherever that may be better than I get Thank you.